What's going on guys? Sharp Shot here. Hope you guys are having a great day so far. So for today's video, we're going to be looking at five random things you probably didn't know in DVD. These five things are pieces of information you probably wouldn't know about in DVD because they aren't common knowledge and they're never really explained inside of the game. So yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the video. The first thing you probably didn't know about DVD is the perk effects system. The perk effects system shows you perks from other survivors or killers in your game that are directly affecting you so if you look at the bottom right of your screen you see these little turquoise or red tiny perks next to your actual build that's the perk effect system and what not a lot of people know is that the turquoise perks have an up arrow meaning that it's a buff and that it positively impacts you while the red perks have a down arrow and they're actually a debuff which negatively affect you so usually the blue perks are going to be survivor perks that positively affect you for example prove thyself is one of those survivor perks that's a buff and positively impacts the people if somebody else is running that perk and you hop on a gen with them you guys are going to collectively do the gen faster because of prove thyself and since you're affected by prove thyself's buff you're going to see it in the perk effect system at the bottom right and an example for a debuff perk is the killer perk dying light this negatively impacts you because while the obsession is still alive you'll be getting a certain percentage regression in repair speed so just to quickly sum up the perk effect system if you see perks pop up in the bottom right right next to your actual build if they're blue and have an up arrow they're a buff and they're actually helping you and if they're red and have a down arrow they're negatively affecting you the second thing you probably didn't know in dbd is the blood web mystery boxes mystery boxes are a type of node in your blood web that basically just looks like a birthday present and when you open it it gives you a random unlockable of the same rarity of that mystery box or has chances of giving you any unlockable of the rarities above it for example if you have an uncommon or yellow mystery box you'll have a chance of either getting an uncommon unlockable or any rarity above uncommon so here's the chart i'm going to put up on the screen of the percent chances of getting a specific rarity in a specific mystery box as you can see if you get a common mystery box there's still a one percent chance an ultra rare unlockable is going to pop up so if you see these mystery boxes in the blood web definitely buy them because you can save some blood points and actually get a rarity above the thing you paid for so so it's a pretty good deal. The third thing you probably didn't know in DVD is your specific rank after rank reset. On the 13th of every month, rank reset occurs where you basically get set back to a further rank. But what a lot of people don't know is that depending on what color rank you were, you're always going to get reset back to the same rank. So as you can see in this chart, if you get to the red ranks, no matter what rank you're in, you're always going to get reset to rank five. This is actually pretty cool if you're rank four and then you get reset to rank five so you only reset one rank which is not a big deal at all but it kind of stinks if you were rank five for example and you get set back all the way to nine if you're about to hit rank reset and you have a couple days left to grind pay attention to what rank you are right now and if you want to try and grind to the next color rarity so that you won't get reset as hard you should definitely go ahead and do that the fourth thing you probably didn't know is that you can actually disable noen noen is a hex perk where whenever the exit gates get powered or in other words whenever all five gens have been completed a dull totem becomes a hex totem on the map and every survivor on the map gets the exposed status effect which basically means the killer has a one-shot ability with their m1 so they can just one shot down you which is terrible for the survivors who are just trying to escape this can be a really strong perk for the killer depending on what killer it is in the late game and can really screw the survivors up but not a lot of survivors know that you can actually completely disable noid from even activating in the first place all you have to do is cleanse all five totems on the map this is a pretty tough feat to do especially before all five gens have been completed but if you do go around the map cleansing all five totems there will be no dull totem for noed to spawn on so you can actually cancel noed from even spawning in the first place which is really really good for the survivors and saves you a big headache from having to deal with toxic noed the fifth and final thing you probably didn't know in dvd is the hatch spawn equation not a lot of people know this but basically the hatch always spawns in at a set time when the number of completed generators is equal to the number of survivors alive plus one when all four survivors are alive you basically need to finish all gens for the hatch to spawn when there are three survivors left you need to have four generators completed which means having one gen left when there's two survivors left you need to have completed three generators or have two 
generators remaining and obviously once you're the last person alive no matter what it'll always spawn a lot of people have different equations for this some people do number of completed generators is equal to number of players alive in the trial so this includes survivors and the killer some people just memorize when four survivors alive equals zero gen three is equal to one and two is equal to two that's basically how the hatch spawns and pay attention to that in your next game when you're trying to hunt for hatch early or you bring in a key all you have to do is check how many survivors are alive and how many gens you have completed and then do the math or just memorize the table and you'll be able to start looking for hatch super quickly so yeah guys those are the five things you probably didn't know in dvd let me know in the comments if you didn't know at least one of these i would be surprised if any of you knew all five of these but if you did kudos to you and let me know any other tips or fun facts about dvd that you think other people won't know about i'd be really interested to see what little fun pieces of information you ended up figuring out in dvd so yeah guys that's been the video thank you guys so much for watching leave a like and subscribe if you're new this is the chart shop and i will see you guys in the next video